it never ceases to amaze me how God reveals things and um, dealing with the situation and all this stuff that I've been dealing with with ASI and the toxic mold in my apartment and um, all the nasty nasty stuff that's been going on here and finding out about the radon in the building and all that kind of stuff it's just amazing how things get revealed to you I just wanted to get the heck out of here uh, I know this place has been making me extremely ill it made my family members ill and so my focus and attention was towards everything I needed to do and everything I could do just to get out of here and be done with this place and never have to see this place again and I was actually doing um, paperwork for WYDK TV, which is a nonprofit, online when uh, I went to a site called Glassdoor. It's one of the many places that deal with nonprofits and their reputation and, and all that kind of thing. And I was setting up the account. But because I typed in Accessible Space Incorporated's name in my uh, computer before, when I was, uh, when I opened up the page, it went to a page with the documents and information on accessible space. I wasn't looking for anything on accessible space. I didn't know they were on that site. I didn't know anything prior to seeing, oh my gosh, information about what was going on here, but not here at other locations. And their employees talking in detail about the conditions at other places that they had because prior to that I was under the impression that um, Accessible Space or ASI was a newer corporation and they just hadn't learned how to manage their things properly and that what was happening here was an isolated situation and not something that was rampant throughout the places that they manage. And so, again, I was not looking. I was doing something totally different. My focus was completely elsewhere when I found this information out, and it floored me to know how long it's been going on and how bad the situation is, even worse than here, when we've got three of the, the worst toxic bolts in here. My place is contaminated in every room, and then we have the radon gas situation so that was something that was revealed to me because I wasn't looking. I wouldn't have even thought to have looked. I didn't know anything really about the company and hadn't pursued that. My focus was doing what I needed to do for my health sake and getting relocated out of here so I can get away from the drama and the ugliness and get out of this toxic environment. So that's just one thing that was revealed to me. And another uh, situation, we've been having our radon testing here, and um, neighbors have tested their apartments for radon, and they've tested for really high levels, and people have been getting sick, and there's been several cancer cases, and a lot of people have passed away living in this building, so something is definitely going on around here. The numbers of people um, passing away have been really high and getting critically ill and the number of cancers when there's only a 17 room unit uh, apartment building here so I saw something and I didn't know what I saw and so my neighbors was telling me that you know last week they were testing in here for radon um, and I didn't put two and two together. I was online looking up radon to find out a little bit more about it so I could understand what is it exactly we have to deal with as if I don't have enough to deal with with the toxic mold, etc. And I uh, came across in Google, one of the pages said fraudulent radon testing. So I clicked on the page and it tells you all kinds of ways that you can defraud a radon test by opening doors and windows because the area or environment that's being tested needs to be set closed for, uh, they want it closed for 12 hours before the test begins and then 48 hours to 36 hours. 
during the test that the air is not to be no fans no moving the air no windows open all vents closed so they can get a true reading well I just saw this today and the realization that last week when the neighbors said that they were doing testing was the one time that I noted mentally why were all the doors open in the building why were doors propped open they never do that here I've never seen that before and it was just something I saw and registered my brain and I just kept going and it wasn't until today when I was just trying to do a little bit of research and learn a little bit about what the heck is radar that I found out that oh my gosh they're defrauding the tests they deliberately because according to what I read it says that by doing that you can completely alter the test results and even get a negative test result even in the place that has would normally have tested really really high these people here are so scandalous people are dying and critically ill and you're gonna do some foul mess like that seriously Wow just to save some bucks and it's federally um, subsidized here so the government is paying for everything so Wow and just putting two and two together because I didn't it didn't register in my brain until I was looking at this stuff I wanted to see what the tests look like because I want to test my apartment and then um, how much it costs to purchase additional tests for additional people who live here or to see if we can get some place or someone to donate them so we can test all the units because trusting the people here to do the testing they lie about everything they've known about the toxic mold in here in my apartment for two years and there's been mold in the community area and the entryway for longer than that because they've had a water leak there for five years and it's right by the phone where everybody has to pick up and call the apartment so they can get let in because we have security doors here and there's been a water leak that window I'm one of the original tenants and that window is leaked from the very beginning since it was installed when the building was first built and back when uh, what's his name what's his name Carl Carl de Haven was our caretaker here a maintenance supervisor and he reported it to ASI and the uh, conclusion was that the window had to be taken out because it was wasn't put in properly and that's why that whole area around that window leaks every time it rains and snows and this is Tahoe it rains and snows eight to ten months of the year so it's always moisture and, and, and wetness and dampness and so they've been keeping a large towel in the window for years almost year round uh, to sop up the water and mold formed all in the window sill around it and, and part of the wall and it was just painted over and bleached and stuff like that the same crap that they've been doing in my apartment which the EPA and um, the uh, um, mold remediation companies say that that doesn't get rid of the mold and it doesn't it doesn't do anything it other than spread it around and the toxins are still just as, as potent and it doesn't do anything to help so they've known about that for a long time and know that they've been exposing everybody and then I've had a, a water leak in my apartment for four years and a plumber has never once come out to fix it and then when they decided they were going to send a, a plumber after it had already been established that it was toxic mold I had to tell them no because by law they have to have me out of here before they start messing in these walls and tearing stuff up because they're going to stir all that mold up and make me even sicker than I've already been getting and spread it everywhere once it was established that it was toxic mold and the strands and things that there are only someone who's professionally trained like hazmat can come in here and mess with this stuff now and they're sending Steve the who has no training uh, 
and to do it and it's like no I had to tell them no because they've already jeopardized my health so much letting them do something like that would just no it would have stirred everything up in here even worse than it is and they don't care if they expose me or their employees because they've had uh, Steve and um, Susan Harmer have come in every month for over a year and sometimes twice a month bleaching up and cleaning up the mold and um, Denise I think her last name is Kuntz she came in and walked around and, and held in her hands the stick that was all moldy that was in the window took it and sat it on Susan's desk because Susan wasn't here that day and twirled it around and talked to you know people over the phone and stuff like that before they threw it away so if their office wasn't contaminated prior it definitely was after that and Steve when he was dealing with the mold that was in the bathroom from the water leak in the bathroom in the ceiling uh, he just pulled all the drywall and stuff down with his bare hands and let it drop in the floor and they let the water drip the moldy nasty water for like five months into a bucket in my bathroom before they even came back to fix it and then when he did um, all you did was just cut a hole and put a door in and um, and fix the leak but they didn't do anything about the mold that was there as well as what they did spread it around even more now molds all over the bathroom I can't even sit um, anything with water in the bathroom like flowers or uh, I had those beads in there that are kind of like jelly jelly like beads that have scent in them in the bathroom because anything that has any moisture content to it in the bathroom gets mold all over it right away and so anyway um, I was looking at this stuff for the radon because I wanted to find out how much it costs what needs to be done what does it entail is it something we can do and get an accurate result is it something that I need to pay somebody to come in here to do because trusting them to do it they lie they lie about test results they lie about everything but I was really shocked at, I don't know why, why would I be shocked, all the crap that they've done this far. But again, it was revealed to me that they uh, deliberately sabotaged or defrauded, or whatever word you would use that's appropriate for this context, the, the testing that was mandatory to be done. And I don't know who I would tell or, you know, whose attention it needs to be brought to because it's, it's just lies on top of the lies. But people are getting seriously sick. And um, one of my neighbors had to have part of her lung cut out because she ended up with lung cancer. And everybody's been having breathing problems. You hear my voice getting groggy. It, it comes in and out. I'm hoarse all the time. And... Um, wow just the unethical things that go on here you know and how God is just showing me things because I had no way of knowing just like my neighbors and I had never spoken to each other about what was going on over here until a week ago and I didn't know that there was ongoing what's called uh, radon remediation or mediation going on here and that what they were doing and that radon was found here I had brought up to um, Mr. Potts who is the city inspector about two years ago was there any possibility that there could be white radon in the building and he assured me absolutely not there was absolutely no possibility of it whatsoever and it's not even here in Tahoe our elevation and all that kind of stuff he told me and location it makes it impossible for there to be radon to find out that it's at several locations in the city he had full knowledge of it and it had already uh, been questionable at this location and he knew about it 
so and I'm not the only person he lied to about the radon and it not being possible to be here including the person who had part of her lung cut out and what she did was she had her place tested anyway which in hindsight I should have done too but I b made the mistake of believing him and taking him for his word and now I know he's a liar so um, and her test her place tested very high so wow I mean what do you say to stuff like this and what kind of a human being does they how is this any different from a serial killer a mass murderer you're killing people slowly but you know people are dying you know they're dying because of the conditions here yet you're lying and covering them up the city state and federal agencies you refuse to do what needs to be done to fix the problems and actually your actions perpetuate it what else is that how is that any different seriously these people should be criminally charged there should be there has got to be some type of accountability this is ridiculous and they were trying to get me to move out of this building to the other building and the other building that they were trying to get me moved to was one that I found out about on accident again happenstance I wasn't looking for information that, that is as bad if not worse than the situation here just wow these people are absolutely eth ethically and morally bankrupt I don't know how they can look themselves in the face honestly in the mirror they're horrible people and somebody really 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 needs to do something about this